Well, some words about a Brazilian view of the events in Ukraine. And uh, I would say that it was with great concern that the crisis in Ukraine uh, was appreciated. Uh, there were two small notes of the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and an extension from what, uh, voting at the United Nations General Assembly resolution on Ukraine. Well, I, I would cite uh, the, uh, the, the notes, uh, just, uh, just a few words. The Brazilian government is following with concern the deterioration of political and institutional framework in Ukraine and expresses deep regret over the deaths in Kiev. The Brazilian government urges all parties to dialogue. The political crisis in Ukraine should be addressed by the Ukrainians themselves peacefully and on the basis of respect for institutions and human rights. Well, uh, it was called a non-position or a silence over the EC, which provoked various diplomatic reactions from the United States, Europe and Ukraine itself. The Ukrainian ambassador to Brazil reproached the government of sitting on the fence. Well, in my view, it is not a non-position. It is a position. Uh, why? I, I, would, I would make some uh, important remarks about the Brazilian uh, politics uh, in general. Uh, first of all, uh, the traditional diplomacy of Brazil is uh, uh, that sovereignty and territorial integrity prevails over self-determination. Uh, but peaceful solution of interstate conflicts is a basic principle of its foreign policy. At the same time, uh, we know from the history of uh, Brazilian uh, foreign policy that uh, it had an indirect support to Argentina during the Falklands uh, crisis, Falklands war. And Brazil continues to support, until now, uh, the decolonization of the Falklands. Uh, also, Brazil is a leading military force under the UN mandate in Haiti in the civil conflict of this, in this country. And uh, uh, some other uh, important uh, developments uh, during the last uh, months and years. First of all, the Snowden affair. It provoked a cancellation of the state visit of the President Dilma Rousseff to Washington last October. So a cold shoulder was turned on the United States, States of America. There was a change of Minister of Foreign Affairs after a political asylum was granted to a Bolivian senator. And uh, the first and foremost is the coming BRICS summit in Brazil, in the city of Fortaleza, in the state of Sierra, to take place just after the World Cup. It must not be, it must not be disrupted and its image be damaged if, for example, President Putin wouldn't come. So it is a snub to the G7, which banned Russia from its membership. So the Ukrainian crisis is a delicate issue which shows that the interests of the Russian-speaking population were neglected during the power change in Ukraine. And speaking generally about the media, I think that it reproduces sufficient, a sufficiently balanced information about the crisis. So, uh, for Brazil to choose between Russia and Ukraine, it is a pragmatic choice, and it is evident, despite the presence of about 300,000 of Ukrainian ethnic origin, people of Ukrainian ethnic origin in the Brazilian state of Paraná. First, uh, commercial ties with Russia mean more than those with Ukraine, about seven times more. Secondly, a space uh, research agreement between Brazil and Ukraine has failed. During more than a decade, it was not set in motion. As to Rubens Barbosa, ex-Brazilian ambassador to the United States, it may be a good moment to come out of it. So, summing up uh, this uh, presentation, I should say that the self-determination is a natural process. It is not for the United Nations to decide if there should be or not be a state. About 80 countries in the world live under the stress of a separatist uh, separatism. The process of state proliferation was very high in the 90s uh, when the disintegration of the Soviet Union and of Yugoslavia occurred. So I, I, I see uh, this uh, uh, crisis as something that may be a transition accelerator 
what the what Maria Lynn spoke uh, just some uh, minutes before, and I think that the the idea of Georgi Talaraya that the uh, that this crisis should not be spiraled uh, to uh, make the confrontation more uh, vigorous, it, it should not occur. And the BRICS is the uh, the the the, the uh, yeah, the institute which should be worked, uh, which should work just to not to to to, to make it occur. Thank you.